pumped. Still pumped. Love it, love it, love it. All right, guys. So how you doing? Welcome to another hot seat coaching call with Ace and Rich. And uh and only. Ace to be exact. And uh really excited about this actual last of the year hot seat coaching call because this is the final coaching call for 2017. Right? We're gonna say bye-bye to 2017 and hello 2018. Right? I never like odd numbers. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, guys, if you are here on the hot seat and you are a guest of ours, please introduce yourself and let us know. So that way we can give you a quick shout out. And also, uh, if you're going to be coached, the way we're doing things now is you need to be on our Zoom webinar. So you just click on the Zoom link in the description on the flyer that I had gave you or that you saw on the page when you saw the information about the Zoom or Rich can put the Zoom in there. Right, Rich? And you just hop on the Zoom and raise your hand if you like to be called out. Because we're not going to be pulling people out. We want to be able to give everybody an opportunity to uh, ask a question and be able to get some answers so that they can get some assistance. Um, and I'll be honest with you, when it comes to our coaching, you know, we're not cheap. OK, so when it comes to our coaching, you know, we're doing this as a way to give back. We offer our free coaching service here. Back to the industry. Time. Back to the industry since we became successful. You know, this is our way of giving back to you. And, uh, and helping out the community grow. Um, if you want to work with us and you're considering for us to be your sponsors in the Super Affiliate Network, just make sure that you reach out to us through Messenger and let's get started because we're running a special. Uh, you guys could get started for a uh, dollar and that way you guys could go right in and just get going, get your feet wet. You know what I mean? Start the new year right and you know start a new business for a dollar. Start started. the new year you off know, one, right. One vessel, four yes. quarters, right? 100 pennies. 10 dimes, 100 pennies, right? <laughs> I yeah, mean, you, I don't know how much more you can break it down. You yeah, know you guys I mean? want to start off. The, <laughs> you, want, you want to start off the new year right, okay? Yeah. And uh, you know, the right business, right opportunity. Um, you know, the right mentorship. Yes. The right coaching. It's yeah. all about the coaching. Don't guys. wait any longer. You know what I mean? There's not an op another opportunity out there that's going to tell you to come and join a business for a dollar. You know, a traditional brick and mortar franchise costs more than that. Way more than that. Oh my God. You know, so um, it's either you go to Hamburger University, or you go to Ace and Rich University. It's up to you. I mean, <laughs> Ace and Rich University. <laughs> right. You got to learn how to do marketing because that's what it comes down to. No matter what it is that you sell, it's not about your product, your service, or your program. What it comes down to is, you know, it was you, the you ain't business model. You know, you, you got to market yourself before any product or service, it, you know, get off that kick about, you know, my opportunity is better than sliced bread. You know, it's not about that it really isn't. And if you read the book, magnetic sponsoring, which is what we talked about last week on the hot seat coaching call, you know, that magnetic sponsoring book is amazing. And it will teach you a real reason why you are failing in this industry and what you should be knowing and what to do. You know, when it comes to becoming a marketer, right, Rich? Right. Now you don't feel good today, but you're doing fine. I am. I'm, 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 I'm winging it, man. You know, I'm impressed. I woke I'm, up I'm with really a cold, impressed. but I'm I'm still here. I'm I'm dedicated. You know, you got to give me the 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 bad flu to knock me on my ass, so I don't have to come in. <laughs> and guys, I'm running on adrenaline, uh, no sleep. Just to let you know. Yeah, you're really you're, uh, you're adrenaline, right? Took care of my dad last night. He went to the hospital, um, and uh, I picked him up this morning. Yeah. And um, yeah some bad lung infection and stuff like that, but it's hard because he has COPD, so it's a little bit tougher. Yeah. So I haven't had any sleep, and she's sick, and look, we're still we're here. We're still here, dedicated. For you guys. Right. So let's get this party started. So guys, here's how it's going to work, okay? Make sure you like, comment, share all that good stuff with this actual live. Come Rich, on, raise those numbers should, up. You should be sharing too. Put it on the page, okay? Yeah, yes, um, yes. I got to tell him to do that, you know. <laughs> He's running on pure adrenaline but I got to keep him on his toes just as much as he keeps me on my toes. So definitely make sure you do that. And uh, also uh, wanted to share with you guys um, some announcements. Um, come 2018, there's going to be a lot of changes within the Super Affiliate Network with our, our primary business. Uh, a lot of great things that are coming and happening. We're excited about that. So guys, I don't know why y'all passing up that $1 offer. Like I'll say it again, I don't care one dollar to get started just click the link and then get started you know what i mean if you need us to give you the link we'll put it up here for you if you have guests that are here this is not a promotional call this is not a, a webinar style type of a, a webinar that recruits people for you this is our own personal coaching service is what we do for our own list so if you guys brought guests here you know guests don't want to mislead you we have a lot of integrity get back with the person who invited you if we mentioned something about super affiliate network 
get back with them. Okay. <laughs> we don't want y'all clicking on our link and signing up with us. We wanna, we, we're not like that. Okay. Um, so I want to make sure. What am I? Are you sneezing? You coughing up a hairball? I need that hairball. So. <laughs> Are you coughing up a hairball, arrows? You okay? You okay, baby? <laughs> he looked like he was coughing up a hairball, right? You okay? Weird old. All right. Kind of distracted me there for a minute. Okay. So arrows is okay. All okay, right. so we shared, we're good. He's like, what was that? So I shared, got everybody shared, get it out yep. there. Thank you for sharing, okay? So guys, here's how it's gonna go, all right? We, um, the other announcement is uh, Rich and I are gonna be doing some great things in 2018. You know, our coaching our coaching program is really going flying. Uh, every Tuesday with our Super Affiliate Network team known as the Freedom by Design Tribe, right, tribe members, we're gonna be teaching them some stuff. And if you're not a part of that, you're gonna miss out, really major major miss out yeah. um we teach our team members marketing that's what we focus on we don't you know it's not a rah-rah session this is an actual marketing get the, hands get on get yeah. dirty get your hands dirty yeah. you got to learn marketing you're going to be put out there on a spot you're going to get uncomfortable you're going to do things you never thought you were able to do okay never 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 thought you would ever be able to do so uh we're definitely working with that um we have a fund proposal we're using with our business, our primary business. If you'd like more information about that, let us know because those of you who are involved in network marketing, if you don't have a funded proposal. Shame on you. Mm -hmm. here's, yeah. the, here's, here's the thing guys about funded proposals. Okay, you have to understand if you don't know what it is, yep. real quick, it's something to fund your marketing. Okay, mm -hmm. so that way you're not always coming out of pocket for your business. Yes. You have a funded proposal that is funding your marketing, hence funded proposal. Okay. Yeah. So it funds your marketing, it funds your primary That's business. Right. So if you are in a primary opportunity and you're trying to figure out how can I, you know, sustain my business, okay, as I'm investing my own dollars, how can I create capital on the side to invest into my primary business as well, so I can actually start getting, you know, moving a little bit quicker. Okay. You know, in other words, getting paid every single week and not waiting to get paid every single month. So that way you're getting capital every single week to start investing into your traffic. Yes. Because one thing you have to understand, guys, if you're not running traffic every single week, you're not generating leads on a daily basis. And that's hurting your business. Really okay? hurting it. So, yes. but you need capital, mm -hmm. right? And it's hard to build capital when it takes forever to get paid, right? But it's great if you get paid every single week, you have something always coming in to keep reinvesting. Now what's going on? Your business is actually taking off. Your business is running, you know, it's moving forward. And that's the key to the hot seat. We always teach people how to get their business moving forward and get unstuck. That's the purpose yeah. of this hot seat, Yes. right? So when we talk about funding proposal, it's a big, big milestone for you guys if you guys learn this stuff early on the earlier you learn this the better the better off you're going to be the better off you're going to be better off you're going to be yes because it's going to pay for your marketing eventually it's going to literally catapult your business okay you're going to be able to you know invest yourself and take the money and invest you know into your business as well you're going to be able to get even double the more traffic yeah start getting more leads yes. start getting more results okay and uh and then and be happy and be free yeah you know? You know, most people fail in this industry. It's not because that they don't, you know, they don't know what they're doing. I mean, sometimes you could be doing everything right. We were in that in that position before. The we're strategy. Doing, it's we're all doing strategy. Everything right, but without strategy yeah. versus marketing, you got to understand. You got to have the two working together synergistically. If you don't, you're you're sitting duck, and you're spending all this money into programs and courses and products and services, but you don't you don't know marketing. And then you look at your business every quarter. And then as you're measuring your data, you're looking at it and you're like, why am I not getting sales consistently? It, it, because you, you, have to, you have to be strategic. You got to. And what you're doing. Yeah. In your marketing and your follow-up and your email writing, um, you know, what kind of videos that you do, how you connect with your list. You know what I mean? Like, how are you finding the right vendors for your, you know, your market? Yeah. Uh, you know, this is all strategy, guys. Yeah, it's all strategy. And listen, whether it takes three months, six months, eight months, 12 months, two years, five years. I'd rather be working this type of business two to five years of my life versus spending all those years that I spent 45 years in a corporate job that I'll never be able to make $10,000 a month in income. No. Makes sense, no, right? You guys know about that two to three year plan versus a, a freaking 45 uh, year plan. It ain't happening. Yeah. <laughs> so you better find I mean, something else to do. Five years. I mean, yeah, that's what it is. Two to three years. And it should have, Some people take two to three. Some people take two to five. People learn at different paces. That's what the beauty 
about working in a home-based business is the fact that you can work this around your existing schedule. I got mothers in this business that got babies young as toddlers that are trying to build this part-time on top of their full-time jobs, okay, that are building this business and having $1,000 days. And then you have fathers that are also building this business on top of their jobs that they have to do construction work, truck driving. You know, they're out there almost 40, 60 hours driving trucks cross country, you know, 18 wheelers. And they're building this business right from their mobile devices, you know, because they can't really get in front of a computer right now. So what do they do? Stop at a truck stop. They make an opportunity. They go on their phone. They check their emails. They do stuff right from their mobile devices. And they're making No sales. excuses. So and guys, they're making sales too. And so they're I mean, making sales. So what I'm saying to you is don't let your circumstances determine the outcome of your business. You can change things. If you really love this industry to really help you out and take you out of a nine to five like it did me and Rich and make you fire your boss. I mm -hmm. mean, force you out of your job pretty much when you're making more than your salary and your monthly, you know, and you got that money coming in every single month like clockwork. You need to really figure out what you really, really want. Because if you don't do what is necessary, if you don't hustle, if you don't figure out how you're going to get this business off the ground, then you don't even have no business being in business in the first place because you don't deserve it. You see, you got to be here. You got to deserve it. You see, a lot of people don't deserve to be here. They think it's just a get rich quick overnight type of thing. And it don't happen that way. It's a real business. It is a real business. I mean, the yeah. other day we went to the post office, you know, and we're going to get into the coaching guys. But we just want to talk with you guys a little bit because 2018 is coming. And, you know, we, we need this talk. We need to sit down. You're in our living room now. So what, we, what we're trying to say to you is 2018 is coming. And we as business owners are responsible for our own taxes. However you feel about taxes. However you feel about the government, Uncle Sam still needs to get paid. And even if you are in cryptocurrency as well, yes, you better get your taxes. You better get your taxes right. together, okay? It ain't so much about just taking, 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 don't pay Uncle Sam. If no. you are self-employed, and we're not tax professionals, guys, we're business owners, we learn you have to pay taxes at the end of the year. If you don't pay them quarterly, you will owe a lump sum at the end of the year. And what's coming up next month? Tax season, right? Right after Christmas, right after New Year's, tax season's coming up real quick. Yeah, I just paid our last quarter. We just so, paid uh, our last quarter. Yeah. And let me tell you, it wasn't a couple of dollars, <laughs> okay? See, you guys, when you're employees, your your, your boss and, and the managers and the, and, the president, and the president who's signing off on your little weekly paychecks, you know, they're the ones that have to deal with that stuff. See, you don't see that stuff. You just see FICA and all that stuff coming out. You just got to follow the paperwork. You just fill out the paperwork and, yeah. get your cha and you get your paycheck and that's it. And everything is taken out. When you're a business owner, you got to pay your stuff. You see, you don't get, there's no running away from that. As long as you're here in this country, you got to pay taxes. As long as you own a business and you're a business owner and you're contributing to the country, you got to pay taxes. So I'm just saying to you guys, really take this seriously. It, it when you're is. looking at a business opportunity and it shows you got to fill out a 1099, that's a real business. Yeah, you you're responsible for your own taxes. Okay, you got to make sure you, you're keeping accountable with the books or find a bookkeeper that's going to do it for you. It, it, like I said, guys, it's, it's a real business. It is. And you got to understand, no scam here. it's not about your, you're getting in business. And, yeah. you know, like I, we get a lot of questions like, um, how long is it going to take to get this? How long is it going to take to get that? Yeah. It's like, you, need, you don't need to worry about how long it's going to take for you to make money. What you need to learn is how can I learn the skill sets to start getting results in my business so I can start growing my business. Exactly. That's the right mindset to have. Mm -hmm. The wrong mindset is like, well, how long is it going to take for me to make this much money? That's not the right mindset. That's yeah. just, you, you're just thinking about money, but you're not thinking about business. Yeah. Erica Hill asked a question in the chat live. She says, uh, Erica asks, any advice on how to seek out help with learning taxes for my business? Well, honestly, I took a course in 2008. Um, like the first year I got in business, I took a course and it was uh, tax, tax, uh, tax, uh, tax purposes for business professionals, something like that. Yeah, for the home business yeah, professionals. Yeah, for the home business professionals. And uh, it was a lot to, to go through. It was Sandy Bakken. Right. Yeah. So I'll give you that word. You know, yeah. Sa Sandy Look Bakken up, is Google really good. Sandy Bakken, Erica yeah. Hill. Sandy Bakken is experienced as a CPA. He used to be. He yeah. used to be a <clears throat> he used to be a tax an IRS attorney. Mm -hmm. So he knows about taxes. Yeah. So I took that course and there's something interesting that I learned. It's amazing how you have more control of your money when you write your own taxes. Oh yeah. When you do your own taxes. Mm -hmm. 
because you don't have a choice when you have a job because <laughs> you're limited to what taxes are being taken out, right? Yeah, yeah. But when you are a business owner mm -hmm. and you learn what to write off and what not to write off, you know, it really, uh, your taxes can come down really low. It really can. But you have to pay back because you learn these mm -hmm. strategies. Hence why, sets. hence what I've learned is the fact that you want to write stuff off, especially if you're buying courses, especially if you have to pay for coaching and go on trips out of the state, right? Or out of the country, right? You want to make sure you write that stuff off if it's related to Meals. your business. Meals. Education. Yeah. If you have to upgrade, you can write that off too. We'll Let's, go we'll go out to eat and as soon as the conversation turns business, receipt. Receipt. <laughs> we save our receipts and we go, oh, that yeah. was a business conversation, Rich. Let's just yeah. put that in the books. Because <laughs> it always turns out to be like strategies. Yeah. We're always talking about strategy and yeah. the business and stuff like that. We'll and, go uh, out for, you know, yeah. Asian food or Thai food, and then we'll just be like having a conversation. And then like within that hour, we're we've just basically talked about there. business. And we're like, well, save the receipt. Yeah, we got to write it, it off. It, we just said dinner expense. Business. So um, there's like, I'm not, I'm not a task professional, guys. Trust we're me. Not. I took a course on this stuff. Just experience. Just, I listen you know, to the task yeah. professional. Yes. And I got my own CPA guy. Okay. So yes. he takes care of me. Mm -hmm. So I would tell you that, you know, seek out a task professional. Um, you know, take the course, guys. Yes. You know, I mean. You could um, actually buy the home study course. You get the course and you can write the course off yeah, just so you can learn the taxes. <laughs> yeah, um, it's Sandy Botkin. Yeah, Sandy Ta Botkin. Tax, mm -hmm. Taxes for the home based business professional. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I would definitely uh, look that up. Um, it's easy to find, guys. Yeah, because you can't, guys, you can't just go to any CPA to handle your, your uh, home based business expenses. Some of them don't even know. Nope. They don't know our. I industry. have to tell them sometimes my CPA. You gotta, teach, you gotta, you gotta give like them a little you, something. I'm on like, that. no, no, no. You don't know. I mean, I know about these write-offs. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So they don't know like, about the write-offs. They don't know like, about huh? the internet. That's why they, you know the internet for them is kind of you know something new and stuff like yeah. that. So yeah. Um. Let's see. I got a question on crypto here. Hold on. Let's see here. Uh, James Reed says the screen is frozen. Refresh, because uh, we see it, it's it's working fine on our end. Yeah, we're actually on Facebook. So Corrine fine. Hunt says, should I use crypto profits to fund marketing? Um, yeah, why not? I mean, it, it, whatever. I mean, you're, 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 you're creating invest, you know, um, you get a return on your investment that can be used towards your marketing. Absolutely. So what I would do is, um, you know, cause now the whole new tax law that just took effect for uh, people in cryptocurrency, any people who are doing day trading, and it's going to be a big mess, but unfortunately, hey, that's the government, It right? is what it is. <laughs> um, if you're from the United States and yeah. you are doing cryptocurrency day trading and not holding it for the long term, yeah. what's going to happen is you have to keep a log of every time you actually do a trade um, on the internet. So let's say you do that and you start to make some, some money. You could take that money and put it towards marketing. And then you could write that off. So it's kind of like a wash. I mean, yeah, it is kind so of like a wash. Yeah. You, you can do that as well. So, I mean, I would think about something like that. It's cool. Uh, but this whole new tax law thing is still a very gray area. Um, so, you know, I just found out that they just implemented it, mm -hmm. this new tax bill. Yeah. Cryptocurrency was a big part of it. So, you just got to be careful now. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, Google it. Uh, you know, brand new tax law for cryptocurrency for the new um, yeah. tax law that just implemented. And I'll tell you, you'll learn a lot. And some things you might not like what you read. Just Chrissy, you know. Chrissy Thulin. Oh, you're welcome, Kareem. He said, thank you. Great advice. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, Chrissy Thulin says, man, I miss you guys. I miss you too. Oh, Chrissy, I miss you too, man. <laughs> miss you too, girl. Definitely. You Definitely. never left. You're here. <laughs> guys, I do my own investing with crypto, but I do stuff for the long term. I yep. don't do day trading. Um, we don't know, do we well, don't do USI Tech or BitConnect or any of that no, stuff. I'm already making like Rich has serious... his own bank right here in his back pocket. Yeah, all right, yeah. you got your own stuff here. Yeah. That's what he does. Do I do it the legit I it, way. I do it for the long term, and I do it for yeah. like literally like I, like I already got like a serious return yes. on my money already, and yes. I've just started. So I would tell you that <laughs> just day trading, you guys are in for a ride. Yep. So. All right, guys, so let's go ahead. Questions are coming in from the chat. I love it. Um, let's check the Zoom to see inside the webinar room if there's anybody that raises their hand that if they have a question, let us know. We'll go ahead and tack that on and bring them out on camera. Okay. We have Bo who has his hand up and he has a question. Bo, all right. Bo, before we bring you out, 
make sure you understand we can't be here too long, okay? No. Nope. <laughs> we have a limited time, but we have other people who want to answer their questions. So go ahead. We're going to bring you out, and we'll find out what your question is. Okay. And guys, in the chat, in Facebook Live land, you guys can go ahead and type in your questions. We'll see them in the order that they're receiving. We'll go ahead and also answer oh, your questions. Oh, I'm here, there. Oh, what's You're happening? Live. You're Hi, live. guys. Yeah, I was just uh, asking about how you spell uh, uh, Sandy Bakken. Oh, well, Sandy uh, Bakken is going to be, is it with a T or a B? How do you spell um, that? B-O-T-K-I-N? B-O, uh, Bakken is B-O-T-I-N. Um, yeah, uh, um, we're going to check it right now for you. We'll double check it. Sandy it's with an I, I think. Bakken. Yeah, yeah B-O-T-K-I-N. I'm not standing with a Y, yeah. Yep, Sandy with a Y. Bakken. I'm just going to give you guys straight to the product that I have that I studied. You guys know? Yeah, we're not affiliated with it in any way. No. We're Sandy, B-O-T-T-Y-N. No, K, like in kite. Kite, yeah, K. Yeah, we're going to give you the link. Uh, Bo, so you can see who he is. This is the this is what I actually purchased. Uh, it's a course. It's an audio course you go through. Yeah. Um, we'll put it in here for you guys, and then we'll also put it out there on Facebook too for you guys. All panelists and all attendees. There we go. All right. So that's that's the one that I actually went and studied. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here. It's good to know these these this information. I paid a lot more for this at the time. It's gone down, actually. That's good that it went down, yeah. but you had to pay more. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you bought when it first came out. <laughs> that's okay, though. It yeah. taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. um, hold on. You got to put it on, on Facebook? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Can, can, you, can you go over a little bit about what we are supposed to set up for tomorrow? That is supposed to be private. Oh. That's within the Power Lead System team with us. Oh, okay. That's so okay. we'll go over that. Yeah, we're holding all that info for tomorrow. That's not for hot seat. Okay. Okay, yeah. then basically this one over. Oh, you mean, I mean, I'm a little bit confused. Your your deal here at four o'clock, what is it? Is it about SAN? Is it about PLS? This is a public coaching session. So people can come from other network marketing opportunities and they can come here and ask us questions about marketing and we can go ahead and answer their questions to get them unstuck because sometimes what happens is they sign up into a business and their upline is too busy to answer them so we actually open this up with our experience to teach them yeah. so they, yeah Same. Not, it's, not no, just, no, this, no no company specific no oh, no specific company. okay it's then it's a public then it's how prepared. do i bring how do i uh, how do i bring in outside people I mean, you're not supposed to bring outside no, no, people like, like that. To. This is not that kind of a webinar. Bo, Bo, this training on Friday, this training on Friday is called a hot seat. Okay. Yeah. And All right. But hold on. And then the hot seat is designed publicly for anyone. anyone. It's, it's not about signing anybody up. Yep. It's more about giving marketing information, mm -hmm. education, just giving back to the industry. Mm -hmm. We do this every single Friday, right? To get. Yeah, no industry so this but, that, but you said everyone we might have a link up there like later on or something that's when people see the replay if they want to sign up with us they can that's for us okay yeah but for you if you if you're if you want to like um you know take advantage of like other days that we do things that's a totally different day it's not today yeah yeah for but you, you said it's for everybody you said it's for everybody Right. Yeah, it's public for everybody. Yeah, this is public. This is just white. Right now it's public. Yeah. Right now it's public, right? Yeah, yeah. this is public. Public. Friday's public, yeah. Friday. That's Only right. Friday. Only Friday. That's right. Yeah. So how do I bring how do I bring outside people? You would bring outside people to the weekly webinar, on which Wednesday. is the Wednesday. That's something that we do public on Wednesdays. Yeah. You can also leverage the inner circle. The inner circle is also public on Mondays. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. you can do that too. Monday and Wednesday. So Mondays and yeah. Wednesdays. Is there a specific uh, way to bring those people in? I mean, what do you? How do you bring them in? It would be the way you're wording your your you know your marketing. So if you're gonna post something on your wall and you want to pique somebody's interest and you want to say, uh, "Hey guys, I'm Bo." Monday nights at 9 p.m. Don't miss out. We're doing an inner circle and it's public with the company that I am an affiliate with. 
and it is my primary business. If you guys want to check out what it is that I do, be sure to be a guest. Be sure you say that Bo Demuri invited you and come Monday night because on Mondays, the top earners are going to be explaining the Super Affiliate Network. Okay, then. Is that an email? I mean, that's an, that would be an email then. Your creativity is to your limit. So you can write a post and put it on your wall with a picture. You could go on your email list and you can send out a broadcast and also message them as well. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Those are ideas you can do for marketing. Okay, so I, I would then send them the same the same Zoom uh, link that I'm getting. If you if it's the super affiliate network, then I would just use the public one. Yeah, for for uh, the super affiliate network, the public one. Yeah, yeah, the the one the Zoom for like for instance uh, Monday 9 p.m. Yes, Inner Circle. And that would be the, the link, the Zoom link. I would send right. that in, for, I would yes. do that into my email to them. You could put the Super Affiliate Network official fan page URL. That's a big way to do it. And then when they come on the webinar Monday nights and we say, hey, get back to the person who invited you, then you should be checking your messenger to make sure that they are sending you a message saying, hey, Bo, thanks for inviting me. I was on the inner circle. I like what I see. I'm going to get started. Yeah, that's why you see us every week. We'll actually brought, um mention will announce like team members making sales who's making sales mm -hmm. uh, you know we go in the back office and we put out names and stuff like that yes. we welcome new, new people to the team as well so Bo you can leverage off the inner circles on Monday because Misha just made that public and that's exactly. so that he can help the affiliates get sales on the inner circle exactly is that, is that the only one or are there more it is the only one because if that's you see other team members doing their own like us we're doing ours on wednesdays for our team mm -hmm. you know you can plug into it but i don't recommend it unless you're on that person's team right oh okay because you risk losing a sale to a person who's doing the webinar, oh. Oh. which means yeah, that but... you should be doing your own <laughs> i see yeah okay. so um I'm, you, you, you told me I'm on your team since I joined that PLS thing. You told me. Yeah, I'm that's yeah. But when we do webinars, that would be geared towards Super Affiliate Network. That's our team. We have two separate teams. We have a team in Super Affiliate Network, and then we have a team in our other system known as Power Lead System. Right. Yeah. So you yeah. know the difference. So you are on our PLS team. So PLS, we do everything yeah. related to PLS. Yep. Okay. But you also told me uh, you, would, you would help me with my a send thing right when we meet on saturdays we do it then ah okay thanks sorry no worries i like your pictures from china and beijing yeah nice. oh you saw that i yeah. saw your pictures they're beautiful how, how, oh thank you very much you got a lot more uh more, more brown hair though in that one though <laughs> well, that's kind of like a few years ago yeah, but, you know, yeah. i mean fa facebook I mean, if I need to go on Facebook and Facebook says you need you need to do you need to put faces on or something, uh, that's you know that's the only thing I got. I mean, you know, faces is faces. Anytime you do traveling like that to gorgeous places, exotic places amazing. like that, they're amazing. They're great pictures. You and how, how, how did you get how did you get to see that? I mean, I in just, my news feed because I'm a follower of your updates. Oh. So you get a you get an email you get something what do you get because I don't really know how it works I just went on there the way Facebook works I, I want, is, okay let me explain to you this and then we got one minute I, I only I, I only went there because I'm supposed I want to set up my Facebook uh, page or something because when when if I'm advertising people are going to want to know more about me okay to get to 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 the new explain. like and trust thing let me explain so everybody okay so everybody who's listening if you guys want to know like to Bo's question how do you how do I do that how did you see my stuff whenever you send a new friend request to somebody so let's say Bo sent me a friend request to join be his friend right and I accept it I have two choices I pick to accept the friend request by confirming then the second thing is I click follow automatically it says I'm following his feed so anytime he updates his profile, update his timeline, or even posts on his wall, in my news feed in the home tab of Facebook, I get to see what he's doing. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I still have to know how to use Lots to learn. <laughs> Lots Facebook. to learn. I know. Yeah, yeah. Facebook. So so you liked it. How did you, you that's yeah, my like it. You see my Facebook? Is that a fan page? What's the difference between a, No, I saw it from your profile. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. From my yeah. oh. Okay, so then you saw all that other stuff, like uh, where I went to school, all that stuff. That's profile. That yeah. was all on your personal profile. 
That's you what can I saw. see that. You can see that, right? Mm -hmm. And I because see I still have to put in there uh, what music I like, what food I like, that kind of thing. If you right? want, you don't have what? to. You don't have to. No. What you, you want people to? Uh, what to, I would, what I would do because you, you know, you're an all-around kind of guy. You've been traveling. You've got a lot of experience. You just need to work on your bio. You work on your story a little bit. You know, inside your about me section in your Facebook kind of finesse that a little bit and, and fix it so that if somebody meets you for the first time, what do they need to know about you? Well, That's what, all. What, what, you know, I, I can put in a resume on there. <laughs> well, don't put I mean, your resume because you're not recruited for a job. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, but I mean, no, no. That's, it's not that kind no. of a bio. <laughs> uh, so what, so what do you when mean by social media and you want to put a bio, you want to keep it very, very short. You don't want to yeah. put too much in there. You just want to put like the basic stuff, you know, make it more humanized where it talks about who you are, you know, what do you like to do? What are your hobbies? You know, what do you yeah, mean? You're into internet marketing? So you can say I'm an internet marketer. You know, yeah. I've been online industry since whatever, you know, whatever time frame. And then you talk about, you know, your philosophy about life, what you like about life. You have a hunger yeah, yeah. for travel, put oh, that you like travel and just keep it very, very, you know, very, very short. You don't want too much on there because then you kind of like giving the too much away and you're not leaving enough room for someone to make contact with you and go, hey, I want to oh. know about you, you know? Okay. You don't want to imagine when you married your wife, you know, you told your wife everything about you before she you put the ring on her finger. <laughs> <laughs> did you see my, did you, did, did, did you have a chance to see my MTEL Corp thing? Did you see that? No, no. I only saw the Beijing pictures in, in China. That's no, all. I, I was wondering because no, you know, I didn't I, see all that I, stuff. I, I mean, another thing, I mean, no. before this, so. Uh, no, that I didn't I, see all that. No. I, okay. I was just wondering whether you, whether you were able to see that or not. I guess no. maybe, maybe, <laughs> um, okay, okay. I, I just, uh, I'm just learning about this Facebook thing. Okay, no problem. We'll see but, you tomorrow, okay? Okay, great, thank you very much. You're welcome, You're welcome. <laughs> All right, but yeah, guys, if you wonder why somebody wants to, you know, take a look at your bio, you know, know more about your business opportunity or see you, you know, if they're adding you as a friend and you confirm that friend request, Facebook has allowed it where it automatically follows their posts. So whether they're like going on a Facebook live, you'll get a notification immediately, even though you're not looking for one because you clicked on add friend and they confirm what happens is you're automatically following their posts. This is why what I do is, and I tell my students this clean up your newsfeed because there's a lot of garbage, right? A lot of garbage that could go on home on the home tab and you'll find all this stuff posted about nonsense. It's not value. Yeah, so yeah. what you do is you click on the three dots in the upper right corner and you say unfollow. That means you won't have to get ever again their feed. You won't get their feed. If they're posting garbage, stuff that is not relevant to your, to your industry, not interesting to you, if you're seeing it at the same time, too many times, you know, like take, for example, and I know crypto guys are going to really get on me about this, but who gives a shit? Let's say you're tired of seeing people talk about Bitcoin and USI tech, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> so what happens is you got this one friend that just can't stop posting about USI tech, right? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, you go to the three dots in your, in your news feed and you click unfollow. You're still friends with them. You love them, but you won't be able to see the USI tech stuff anymore. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That's all, that's all I'm going to tell y'all. <laughs> all right. Let's see who here has a question. Um, let's see. Chrissy says, I know the pro price is changing. So, so should I put a post on my wall with my link to the sand capture page if they want to check it out. You know what? The way I would handle that is this, Chrissy, you are a pro member yourself. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. And I would not do that because there's no way for you to close a pro. As an affiliate, you don't close pros. The coaches do. So what you want to do is just, you know, have a conversation with your team members if they brought up that they want to go pro or maybe they mentioned it a couple months ago and they said they want to go pro but they just couldn't do it at the time follow up with them find out if it's time now because after that it ain't gonna be any more time after that, it's gonna be more yeah that was, and, that's what i was gonna say yeah. yeah it's gonna be more but see never put a link on your page about oh you know here's pros gonna be going up and i want you to go pro not gonna work because you don't have a link to make them go pro only the coaches do so that that's a coach's domain not an affiliates exactly all right hope that answers your question Kareem Hunt says, bless your heart, Ace and Rich. Uh, what does that say, Rich? Open that up. You got to blow that up for me. Panelist is a virtue. My mom is 85. I am trying to get her to understand, understand her tablet. Her tablet. Um, yeah, you know what? Um, I remember I bought my mom a tablet. 
uh, for Christmas a few years back. And I remember that I had to sit down with her and work on it and <clears throat> things like that. She didn't understand yeah. the tablet or the computer. <laughs> I helped out with that too. You know, being Which you got her a computer for Christmas. Yeah, me being former V Squad, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I would sit down with her and, and, and teach her and stuff like that. Yes. Her mom, of course, I'm going to help her out. You yeah. Know? Uh, but now she goes on Skype. She calls me. <laughs> She'll call me on Skype. I'll see a video call coming in. I'm like, oh, yeah. that's my mom. You know? And now she's on Facebook. She knows how to share images. Yes. Um, she knows how to use Facebook. Mm -hmm. So she's definitely come a long way. And I want to I wanna say this too, you know, and, and Chrissy knows this as well. Like, guys, Bo brought a very, very valid point. He said, how do I invite people? that I want to bring into a, a primary business. Here's the thing. If the company is holding public webinars, you should be inviting your team, your, your people, your, your guests list, to your list, everything, yeah. everything to that specific webinar. The super affiliate network is our primary business. Okay. That's one of them. We're multiple six figure earners. We have other businesses. Okay. We don't just have one. We have multiple. So when it comes to having multiple streams of income, what we focus on is our primary business. So what we're doing is we're bringing everyone to that. Okay. Um, the inner circle was previously private. It wasn't public. The owner decided that it was more value to the marketplace if we made it public. Hence why our team members are making sales because he's leveraging off of top earners being rich to promote and present at the end of the webinar, yeah. the opportunity. Your job as a Super Affiliate Network member is to bring them to the Monday night calls, the Monday night Facebook live event on the official fan page for the company. There's no link there for them to join. That's how we keep it generic and that's how we keep the integrity of the company. Your job is to make sure that if somebody says so-and-so invited me, then you get back with so-and-so and you give them your affiliate link and you get them signed up. Okay. If follow up is everything, the fortune is in the follow up. I don't leave a, a stone unturned with anybody. When I got a webinar going on, a public webinar, a master class, I make sure if I invited somebody personally, I'm going to get back with them and find out if they're ready to get started or not. Yep. So you want to make sure you do follow up. Okay. So inner follow circles up is key, definitely. Inner circles are Monday. Now, let me touch base on this for a minute. I'm going to take my boots off because they get kind of tight. Uh, when it comes to the team webinars, you're going to see multiple leaders, multiple leaders doing webinars throughout the week. I've said this before privately. I'll say it publicly. Be cautious when you are inviting your list to another team member's webinar, because if they have a link in their description and they click on it, you lose them. Gone. Gone. The system is designed to be cookied to your affiliate, to your first, link. First port of contact. You're the first port of contact. There's no way to track that if they click on another person's webinar. So I'm going to be straight up real with you guys. If we're doing a webinar and you're not on our team, what do you think is going to happen? And you invited a guest and we have a link in our description. They click on our link. You just lost your sale, right? If you're on our team and you brought your, your, your uh, guests and, and email list to our webinar and there's no link, then it's a safe zone. You don't lose anybody because there's no way for that guest to okay, click on the link. That's why, Wednesday, no link. that's why Wednesday you don't see us put any links So Freedom there. by Design Tribe, listen up, guys. Freedom by Design Tribe, when you join our team, we're doing this for you. These are done for you webinars, Okay. Wednesday nights at nine o'clock, we're doing Wednesday webinars for you guys to help close your sales for you. When you're doing that, there's no link for them to join. It's up to you to follow up with them. So whenever we, whenever I, when I'm presenting and I say, Hey, get back to the person who invited you. And then I'll say, post in the chat, who invited you? Oh, Chrissy invited me. Hey, Chrissy, Jane just said she wants to get started. Go and message Jane right now. <laughs> so you can get Jane in the business. That's right. That's the right way to do it. Don't leave any stone unturned because what happens is you're going to lose them. You guys feeling me? Give me some hearts and likes on that, right? Yeah, I would so tell important. you. I would tell you. Uh, I've seen people lose sales yeah, like that. We've it's been very, seeing, very. We've been seeing people. 
that. actually lose sales mm -hmm. from other team webinars. Okay? Yes, yes. Now with us, what happens is, I don't know what everybody else does, but this is what we do. Yeah. When somebody actually comes to the webinar, let's say someone was invited by someone else, and this has happened. They've contacted us directly, yeah. and we always ask them, who invited you? Always. Was it us or was it another team member? And they usually say another team member. And, and we, we say, say, okay, get back to that them. person. Yeah. And then at the same time, we contact the person and say, listen, this person is asking for you. Be on the lookout. Go get them. Okay. Yeah. If not, message them immediately. Hey, I heard you were looking for me. Mm -hmm. You're looking to get started. Let's get you in. Very, very. That's how we do things, right? Yeah. Okay. But as far as what other people are doing, you know, in Super Affiliate Network <coughs> with their webinars, we don't know. We don't care. But people are losing sales from other team members. Yeah. With those webinars. I already had some complaints already on that. There's pros and cons of being an affiliate, but you have responsibilities you must uphold to, and you must understand the way the internet cookies work. Yeah, we have the highest integrity when we'll it comes to- We'll tell you like to, it is. Yeah, we have the highest integrity when yeah. it comes to doing team webinars, okay? Highest integrity. If you actually brought somebody to that webinar, we're going to make sure you know about it. You're going to know about it. Somebody contact us and you invited them, yep. we're not going to take them. We're going to give exactly. them to you. Exactly. We're going to know for a fact. So if we're doing a webinar on Wednesday and we say Freedom by Design Tribe, that is relevant to our personally sponsored team members mm -hmm. on our Super Affiliate Network team. I want to make sure we make that clear. Right. Okay. There have been some people actually coming, you know, sharing from other other places. Non-team team members have come, but yeah. we still tell them, get back with the person who invited and you. We still tell them. We always say that yeah. just to cover our butts because we don't want to have no issues no. with people being uh you know closed and they end up on our team that's why we put no link up yeah, right it's not right because no. if, it, if you invited someone yeah right you went through that you know you went through all that that work mm -hmm. you get somebody to a presentation yes okay you should get credit for that, that sale yes all right so now that that's clear okay i'm also going to say something else that bro brought up see bo brought up some things i want to touch base on that and we have 15 minutes and he said about doing webinars guys you can do your own webinars when you join the super affiliate network we have done for you webinar slides already done for you all you got to do is just do them yep. you know you just do them so think about that all right make sure that you do your own webinars which 2018 is going to be a real nice year to do it oh absolutely it's going to be a absolutely. nice year to do it let's see these questions out here Special Bell says that's why um people are so loyal to you guys yeah, I mean, our retention in our business is really high. Oh, thank you, Spencer. We have a high re uh, retention rate in our business because we work yeah. with our people. We have a lot of loyal loyal customers um, for many, many years. And uh, no and matter what it is, no matter what it is we sell, that's why we're in multiple businesses, because no matter what it is we sell, we keep our integrity still. Yeah, and to no us, they're not just customers. They're real people. We you know love our, I mean? we, we're like yeah. family members with our team members. We, we teach them how to be leaders. We teach them to be marketers, but also how to be leaders. They're Right now, as we yeah. speak, they're being groomed. And they don't even know it. Our own personal army. Yeah, they have no idea. Yeah. And we got so much more <laughs> to show them. It's going to be incredible. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, Carmen Moss. Hi, Ethan Rich. In the house late, but... She, uh, oh, Carmen's sure. late. That's all right, Carmen. You're here. No hey, problem. Better late than ever. Yep, yep. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Hey, who has their hand up? That uh, Shana Wilson says, yes, y'all do. And I love it. And they do keep their word. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, Shana. How you doing, Shana? Absolutely, <laughs> Shana. Anybody have any other questions, guys, while we have the time? You know, we're here. Go ahead and ask your questions. Raise your hand. All right, awesome. Hand just went up. We have... Dyer, no, no, that is LaRon, uh, LaRon Washington. Oh, new person. All right, let's take a look. Okay, promote to Pendulous. Go to Pendulous. I love when I bring new people out because you never know what they're going to ask. <laughs> it's like totally live. There we go. Unmute. LaRon Washington, welcome to the hot seat with Ace and Rich. How are you? LaRon, what's happening? Yes, I was trying to see what if you're not sure of how you got here? Oh, what if you're not sure? Well, let's let's think um, about backtracking. Um, this is a fan page. Are you a follower of ours? Have you been on this fan page for a while? Do you remember how you found the fan page? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't. I don't remember. You don't remember? No. That happens because there's so much going on in Facebook. <laughs> so so many things happening on a daily basis, minute by minute. Yeah. That it's easy to forget, like um, like how you get to like one place or the other. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, so what can we do for you, man? Yeah. 
No, I'm just trying to find out, like you were saying about the teams and stuff like that. How would I get back in contact with the person who uh, introduced me to Super Affiliates? Okay. Okay. All right. So um, now, do you remember who invited you at all? Do no. you have emails coming to you related to the Super Affiliate Network? No, it's just uh, when I first got in uh, the information, I added it the uh, the webinars to my calendar. So, uh -huh. but I don't have their name. No name. Okay, so you're not signed up in the Super Affiliate Network no. yet. Okay, and in your emails, um, daily emails, do you get any broadcasts related to the Super Affiliate Network or? Anything like that? Um, no. It? Like I said, it, it's just on my uh, calendar that is held every Friday. Every Friday. So I'm going to have to, uh, I guess, check my emails again. Yes, check your see. emails and look at the signature line. Because the signature okay. line should have somebody's name there, phone yeah. number, and contact email to see if that's the person who's an affiliate with the Super Affiliate Okay. Now. All right. Yeah, I mean, see what I, name you're trying to. I mean, bro, you know, it could be us, it could be somebody else. You never know. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, when you do, just... Get back to us and keep us in the loop. Yeah. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for coming out. Yep. Thanks for coming out. We'll see you again. Yeah. Awesome. Anybody else have any questions? <laughs> Kareem Hunt says, send them to me. <laughs> Laugh out loud. I'll help them <laughs> if you can't find it. <laughs> you guys are funny. Uh, Kareem Hunt says, I got sales yesterday, but I can't find out. From where? I checked my leads tab, but not there. Uh, but they are on my dashboard. Are you? Okay, so Kareem, you must be talking about Super Affiliate Network. In the referrals tab, you see your sales. In the leads tab, you see your leads based on your campaigns. Even if you're running traffic into the system, you're going to see the email addresses of the people who opted in. So that's where they'll be. Everything is pretty much organized in the back office. Yeah, so for instance, if you're looking at, when you create the link, all right, if you're using the links in the back office or in the My Links tab, right? Yeah. Are you actually tracking that? <clears throat> are you creating the link and putting your own word into it so you know where it's coming from? Because that's important. That way, when you actually go to the stat section, the statistics section, you're gonna be able to see where the sales are coming from. That's very important with, with yes. tracking and marketing. Yes. With marketing, you always want to be tracking. So mm -hmm. be sure that you're doing that. It's very important. Yes. And guys, make sure that you are tracking everything. Like I track even my images. <laughs> like I, I don't know. It's just a habit because I was blogging for so long, so many years with Rich that, you know, I even track my images as my call to actions. And I'll put a tracker on that bad boy just to make sure if anybody clicking on it, I want to know where it's coming from, you know, because you never know. You end up with a sale and you're like, well, where did it come from? Oh, yeah, it's tracked back to that click. And that click was originally on an image or Facebook post or video. You know, you want to track everything. I mean, get good at tracking. If you're not tracking, you don't know where your stuff's coming from. How are you going to know what to concentrate on the most yeah, how to you know repurpose what, yeah, that content? How are you going to know what works and what doesn't work in the yeah. marketplace if you're not tracking? Exactly. Very important, guys. And very you're important. very, very strict on tracking. Like, Rich, oh, God. he got tracking out the wazoo. You look in the back office yeah. of us, we got tracking on Click Magic. We got tracking inside sand. We got tracking in PLS. We got tracking everywhere. <laughs> tracking, tracking, tracking. You, Get good at tracking. We got tracking on YouTube. We got tracking. Yeah, it's business, Facebook. guys. You got to track your stuff. You know, don't just wishy washy and throw spaghetti on the wall hoping it sticks. That's right. Chrissy says, got to track. Exclamation yeah. point. Definitely. The secret to success on the internet yes. is test, track, and tweak. Uh, let's see. Anybody else? You have uh, uh, Diane Robin, do you guys got a question today or are you guys just watching? No, Korean, I, I, I know what he's talking about here. I, I have click, I click magic. I track a lot also. Okay. Mm. If you don't see the leads like the percentage or the leads in click magic it's because you're not going to see it it's going to be in the back office of sam mm -hmm. cuz that i looked at that too when you yeah. when you create your own link like you have your own link right it's yours right you create that capture page and everything you're going to be able to actually uh, you know you put the pixel in and everything from uh, click magic you'll be able to see that percentage okay with the tracking right but when it listen when it comes to 
tracking in you know any any sand links you'll see the clicks okay you'll see the unique clicks but you will not see the percentage of leads the opt-ins or anything like that you'll see that in the stat section in the back office of the super affiliate network that's where you will see that and i love it because it, they, they made it so simple and you can literally see what campaign is working what campaign is not working so definitely it's normal if you're not seeing on your dashboard and click magic no worries that's normal bold you have another question your hand is back up again i think bold has another question okay we'll tell him to type it up okay bold can you type out your time. It's, yeah we don't have time to bring you on video but we're like coming down to the end go ahead and type your question in the chat type it out what's your question so we can get to it and guys while bo's typing out his question um i want to show share with you guys um you know, during the holiday, Christmas, we received, you know, gifts and things like that. And one of our team members actually in uh, PLS sent us a really nice gift for our puppy. And uh, she actually, she's hustling. Like literally, she was in the Canary Islands. Her name is Anya. And she actually sent oh, yeah. us a Christmas present for our puppy where we got um, these leashes. Like these, these are actual collars. The cool thing about these collars, what makes them so special is the fact that they are available in different colors and different sizes. Um, I believe this is a small and our puppy's neck is kind of like skinny. So it looks kind of big on him. He'll grow into it. But what's cool about it is our, oh, I know, I know. Our, our puppy has the green one on and is great at night and just endorsing Anya for this because this was an awesome gift that she sent us. And right inside is this little, little uh, mechanism that you press. And it has the lights on it. So that way you can see your puppy. You can see your dog at night when you're giving him a walk or taking him out to do his business, right? And it has three different settings on it. So there's the flashing setting like that. And then when you press it again, it goes like that. Or <laughs> it goes right off his head. Or you can just do like some raving, man. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> right? And then uh, I have, I have like yeah. two on each hand and just be like, <laughs> right? <laughs> only rich that. right because he's a forward rich is a dj so that's why he's doing that right so yeah i know i gotta slip it on you see it looks kind of big on him but we use it at night for him and uh, it's been working so thank you for this gift anya, anya thank really you. really nice. appreciate it and if you guys want to get callers reach out to anya Toucher. she will uh send you, you she know, will hook you up yeah and then there's the other setting where it's just constant see how it's like like the christmas lights it's just constant that's it. Yes, there's so. a blue one and there's a yeah, red one. Different colors. Yeah. There's a green one. Just wanted to show you guys that we got a lot of people that love us. They send us gifts. Diane Robbins send us mugs, you know. Um, also Connie Wilson, who's, you know, she's just getting over a bad cold. She actually sent us uh coffee from Costa Rica. So we got that from Christmas from her. So I love when our, you know, our 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 friends are following sends us gifts. That's that's so cool. Yep. You know, how much they love us. That's right? awesome. I just awesome. think it's incredible. Yeah, well, we, you know, we love you guys too. That's why we give back. That's why we provide this type of coaching for you guys. You know, a lot of people don't don't really understand hot seat as much as what we've been able to do. For, but this has been going on for over a year now. Yeah. So if we've been doing it this this good, then damn, it must be really good that it's helping people. You know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Chrissy said he's so freaking adorable. Yeah. So I know he's awesome. Let's see Bo's question. He says, I have leads. Do I send them? Oh, do I send them these emails and and that of pro level prices going up? No. 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 I think we just answered that question, but you might have missed it because well, somebody we asked answered it to for put it on like somebody Facebook. Else. We answered it for Facebook. Right. We didn't answer it for about the list. No, don't tell when your it, list about. Yeah, when it comes to the up. list, yeah, don't do that. Okay. Yeah. Let the coaches close and just the get them in the do door. Mm -hmm. Get get their foot in the door for a dollar. That's the key. <laughs> He's trying to chew on it. <laughs> so yeah, you don't want to do that, Bo. Don't mess with your list about pro. You know what really pro is for is existing members who are like basic and that are sitting at annual and they've been there for a while and they've yeah. really been wanting to go pro, but they couldn't, you know, this is an opportunity and a sense of urgency for them to go pro. Yep. You know, I got a guy watching this guys yeah. and you're in the affiliate <laughs> network and you're not pro Get there. you have a huge opportunity at your fingertips to get yeah. like amazing stuff, like stuff that we have to pay like over $10,000 for. Yeah. They're, they're, uh, 
they're giving out bonuses. Um, yep. Our Maui intensive uh, curriculum is being thrown in as a bonus. And that offer ends 31st of December. So if you are on the Super Affiliate Network, if you are on our team in Freedom by Design Tribe and you are on the fence as a basic member or an annual or premium and you haven't gone pro, mm-hmm. talk to your coach. That's it. It's crazy. What they're talk offering. to your coach. They crazy. will, they will um, answer your questions and get you upgraded or put you on a payment plan. But whatever happens, you want to get the pro. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Don't stay a basic no. Yeah, that's good. Basically. Yeah. So, guys, it is top of the hour, 457. We still have a little bit more, a couple minutes. Have one more question. Yep. Let's see who has another question. Come on, give us a good one. Sandy Vegas, I'm already a pro. Yes. Yeah, no, no web. The, the webinar for the leads, no, because Super Philly Network automatically does those webinars for pro for the leads when they come in the system and they purchase and they become a buyer. Once they become a buyer, the system itself does all the selling and telling for them and upselling. So you don't have to worry about that. Kind of hard to let go of the steering wheel. I know. <laughs> yeah. I had trouble doing that. Yeah. Sandy Manga says, I am already a pro. Yes, you are Sandy. That's the best part. Shannon Wilson. I need to be schooled on tracking. Oh, we'll do that for you. Okay. Yeah. I'll put on the list for weekly training. All right. Yeah. That'll yeah. be definitely, that'll be a fun training. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Learn tracking. That's a great training we can offer for our team members. So you guys like network team. makes this so easy. Yeah. Oh, yes. look, there's a hand that just went up. Dave V. Who's Dave V? Well, let's check it out. Uh, Dave V. Let's see. It's we got two minutes. I don't know if you're All right. Let's I think go. he could, he could get it in. He can mm. get it in. Let's go. Let's do it. No, I mean, he could ask a question right here. Dave, can you post your question? What are you using for tracking? Okay. We're I, using click magic. We're using click magic. Yeah. And um, with click magic, we can see our percentages. We can see all that kind of stuff. I create my own capture pages. Mm-hmm. I don't just rely on the system. Um, would I tell people to do that? No, I would tell them use the system because you have to have a yeah. lot of experience in creating your own funnels and testing <clears throat> and seeing what works and what doesn't work. So what I would do is I would, if, if you're if you're insane, I don't know if you are, but I would definitely focus on using those those uh, funnels, those, you know, sales pages and capture pages yes. because they do work. We have people testing them out all the time just to, you know, kind of debunk to see if it doesn't work and it actually does work. They've been surprised. I was surprised too. We got so many sales from just using the system mm-hmm. and I still use it. It's still to this day. Yeah. I just like creating my own stuff too. Yeah. You definitely want to create your own stuff and stuff. And I think Erica Hale says, uh, Lisa, there's an extractor button in your back office where you see a uh, see your list. Yep. Yeah, you can see your list. You'll see your leads. You'll see your buyers. You know, and your buyers are the ones that actually purchase your program or system from you. So you'll see them already um, in the back office under referrals. Yeah, definitely. Okay, guys. So with that being said, my name is Rich Guzman, and my name is Anastasia Hall. Just guys, happy New Year to every one of you. We love you guys. Wish you a, a joyful, pleasant new year. 2018, crush the hell out of it. Don't repeat what you did in 2017. In 2018, if you guys really want to make it and have results and better results than last year, okay? Treat your business like a business. It'll pay you like a business. Treat your business like a hobby. And it'll pay you like a hobby. Well, if you treat it like a hobby, it'll pay you like a job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And don't forget to reach out to I. And that's not a good week. If you guys want animal i don't know if you guys got rabbits guinea pigs dogs cats whatever if you guys want this um you can con- contact anya we'll put a profile in here for you guys send her a message and i think these actually go for like 10 bucks a piece i'm not sure i'm just saying that they're awesome know. they're worth it they're really they're worth really it cool. i think they're cool thank you anya for the gift guys thank you so much for your questions bo chrissy uh uh who was kareen hunt thank you so much hey what's up zach <laughs> jersey boy Zach Jaheed, all right? All right, guys. And uh, Diane Robin, thank you so much. And guys, and uh, Dave, also, thank you for your question. Happy New Year to all you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys in 2018 on the next Hot Seat Coaching Call 2018. We'll see you next year. All right. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.